Hello and welcome to Safra High School and to A-Level Geography. Um, my name is Mr. Rocolo and I'm the Head of Humanities and also one of the Geography teachers um, at Safra High School. I'm just going to talk to you um, a little bit about um, A-Level Geography. Um, so we're going to look at the exam board, the contents, um, what and how you're assessed and also uh, possible career progression um, if you decide to take um, a level geography at Southborough. Um, <clears throat> our exam board is AQA. Now we've chosen AQA because um, it's got a very clear structure, um, very easy to follow and very easy to understand. And we think it's you know well suited to our students here at Southborough. Um, so the way I'm going to do this, I've got a presentation as well. As I talk to you, I will show you some of the key information um, via the presentation and we'll take it from there. <clears throat> so um, this is it. So it's um, AQA, Geography, A-Level and AS. Now, what will you learn on the course? Now you are going to be looking at three components. Um, component one is physical geography, and it contains topics like water and carbon cycles, um, coastal systems and landscape, and ecosystems on that stress. The human side um, has got topics like global systems and governance, changing places, and population and environment. And of course, the third component is the fieldwork. Now, what kind of student is this course really for? Now, those students uh, who have an interest and concern for the environment will do incredibly well on the course. Um, it's for students that are interested in current affairs, um, students that enjoy a subject that is quite relevant to their own lives and experiences, um, students that want that opportunity to carry out practical work um, outdoors as well as class work in the classroom. So field work is quite uh, big in geography. And of course, uh, people that want to link both the sciences with the humanities. Now I'm going to now talk a little bit more in detail about the components. So of course, you've got component one, physical um, geography. Now you've got three sections to it. First one is water and carbon cycles. It's pretty much more about the hydrological cycle and also the carbon cycles. Um, you know, hydrographs, flooding, the drainage system, things like that. Um, the second section, you've got coastal systems and landscapes, looking at coastal processes, um, <clears throat> looking at different types of coastline, types of waves, uh, looking at why some coasts are getting eroded faster than other coasts, and also more importantly, looking at ways to manage our coastlines. And of course, the third one is ecosystems under stress. Now, it's pretty much all about the biomes, different ecosystems, why they're at where they are, um, and looking at why some ecosystems are really under stress. Uh, in terms of assessment, it's going to be two hours, 30 minutes, <clears throat> about 120 marks for grabs, and it's worth 40% of the um, A level grade. When it comes to the second component, uh, you've got three sections as well. Uh, we've got global systems and governance. Uh, the second one is about changing places. You know, as geographers, we're quite interested in the location of places, uh, but also we're quite interested in characteristics and the perception of places, pretty much how people feel and think about those places. Now, this is a concept of place, um, and it's very important um, part of the human geography that we're going to be looking at. Um, this third or section C is about population and the environment. Now, of course, population is very dynamic and we will be looking at how and why population changes. Um, very similar in terms of assessment to component one, again, two and a half hours long, um, 120 marks, and it is worth 40% of the A-level course. The third component is a geography fieldwork investigation. Um, the fieldwork will look at both the human and physical side of it. It's inquiry based and students will collect their own data. They'll analyze it, they'll test it, um, test a hypothesis or solve a problem. 
um, it is only 20% of the total um, A-level um, grade, and it's worth 60 marks. Now, there are very important skills that you will develop if you're on the course. Communication skills, literacy, numerous, especially when it comes to fieldwork. Um, ICT skills, when you're analyzing data you're going to be getting from the fieldwork. Um, you're going to be learning how to collaborate, working in groups. Um, you're going to be solving problems. Um, and so you've got lots of very key skills to develop if you take the course. Now, what could you do at the end of your course? Well, you will learn many transferable skills um, that are relevant for work and education. Um, so with it's science, you've got engineering, psychology, environmental science, oceanography, geology, and ICT. Now, in terms of uh, humanities, uh, you've got business, you've got law, media, politics, and philosophy, uh, traveling tourism, accounting, journalism, and many, many, many more um, um, progression, career, career progression. Um, I've just left a quote there. Geography is a subject which holds the key to our future. <clears throat> so uh, if I go back on here. So from all that I've said, um, you can see that it's a very important change course. Um, one that you will enjoy, one that you will learn, and one that you will develop some really valuable skills. Thank you for listening. And if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate uh, to forward that question to the geography department or to the humanities department at Southwell High School. Thank you. Bye.